Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula Hernandez and I'm a licensed esthetician and a holistic skincare developer. Today I want to talk to you about new trends that are coming out and it's called skin fasting. So I'm sure you heard about the intermittent fasting where you eat certain amount of hours and then you fast for a certain amount of hours of the day. So now the new trends that they are trying to make are saying that you should fast your skin from certain products. In reality, this is nothing new in skincare world because we, when we are using certain products, there is a period of time that we use it and we stop using it depending on the skin barrier, um, health, depending on the product that we are trying to introduce to the skin, use it for a while and then stop using it. So nothing really new, just new terminology that comes up and new trends are developed. So. Skin fasting would be, for example, how we are using Retin-A and Retinol on our skin. So Retin-A is the most potent form of vitamin A and um, not my favorite, but because it's very commonly used and people know about it, I will give it, I will use it as an example. When you start using Retin-A, you usually need to start very slowly. You introduce the product to your skin once a week, the next week, twice a week, the following week, three times and so on until you build up the tolerance to be able to use it every day of the week. So usually what you should do is you should use a product like that for a certain amount of time, whether that is 60 or 90 days, and then you need to stop for 60 or 90 days. Also, that depends on the season that you start using a product like that because it causes a lot of side effects such as sun sensitivity. You also um, are more prone to be sensitive to other products, not just the environment. So depending of the seasons, depending of what your treatment plan is, you start using it and then the same amount of time that you're using it, you stop using it. So that would be a nice example of skin fasting there are other products that some professionals um, whether those are skincare professionals dermatologists they believe that you should fast your skin so then when you introduce the product back in that it's gonna work better i personally don't believe that makes any change um, because you need nutrients every day your skin is living organ so it needs nutrients every day so when you starve certain ingredient from your skin and your skin is used to having it um yeah it's gonna backfire somehow if that we are talking about just a few days that it's no problem but if you go long periods of time what happens is that the whole skin barrier balance and health gets unbalanced and the problem starts creating so in my opinion if you ever feel like your skin is out of whack and you need to restart the routine, yeah, just start with basics, which would be always cleanser, toner, moisturizer, and SPF. That's your very basics. So you should never start the skin from those four products. You should always use those. But if you would like to um, introduce certain serums into your routine and then remove them from your routine, that would be a way of skin fasting of certain ingredients. Um, my clients, the ones that have a nice routine at home, they have different products that they are using, not all of them every day, but they adjust based on, based on what their skin is lacking or what their skin is needing. So seasons, environment, um, hormonal balance, all these factors are included into when you decide to use something or not. So that would be a form of skin cycling or fasting as well because you're not using a certain ingredient. However, the trends that you completely stop using everything on your skin, I think that came, I don't know, maybe from TikTok or some kind of nonsense, but don't follow those rules. Always consult with your esthetician, whatever program you're on, if that is something that would benefit you because if it's going to damage you, I don't suggest it. 
it's better to stick with what you know than trying all these new trends that are always out there um, trying to do something new in reality is nothing new is just recycling the old habits and giving them a new name so if you found this video informative please click like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the new video is out